Cranfield's journal databases provide access to millions of articles. When you search one of these databases, you could be searching as many as 50 million items in the hope of finding just a few relevant ones for your assignment, your thesis or your paper. The results you find will only be as good as the search that you do, so it's important to get this right. Here are some basic hints and tips to get you started and to make your searches more efficient and effective. Tip number one, use the advanced search option. Most databases open at the basic search screen. Here's an example from ABI Inform. If the database that you're using offers an advanced search option, it's usually more effective to use that than the basic search. If you're using Scopus, however, use the document search screen rather than the advanced search. The advanced search provides different options for combining search terms and for specifying where in the record they should appear. It's usually best to search the default fields, which are the title, keywords and abstract, because if your search terms don't appear there, then the article is unlikely to be relevant. Tip number two, phrase searching. If your search term is a phrase of at least two words, put them in inverted commas so that you only find papers where the words appear together and in the right order. Here is an example. We're looking for articles on big data. If we simply search for the words big data, we'll find many results, but not necessarily papers relevant to our search. This is because the database is actually searching for big and data. If we put the words big data inside inverted commas, however, this will narrow our results down to include only papers mentioning that exact phrase. Tip number three, building your search with and and or. Unless you're using a single term for your search, you'll need to combine your search terms using the Boolean operators and and or. When you want results which contain two different concepts, use and to combine the terms. Remember that these should be completely different concepts and not the same concept expressed in different ways. A search combined with AND will only show you results which have both, or all, of your search terms. However, your results will only contain the words that you asked for, and it could be that your concepts could be expressed in different ways. Try to use any alternative words or synonyms that an author might use in an article and combine them with OR, so that you find articles which contain any of your synonyms. You could change the drop-down from AND to OR, but it's usually better to put your terms in the same box and type the word OR in between them. There are a number of reasons why a concept could be expressed in different ways. There could be completely different words for the same thing, particularly in American English. There could be a different spelling in American English, so think about words which are the same but have a slightly different spelling. It could also be that words which may not have exactly the same meaning are sufficiently similar to produce useful results. There is another operator, not, which will exclude articles containing the terms you specify from your search results. Only use not when one of your search terms is appearing in the wrong context, because you could exclude potentially useful papers from your results. Further advice on searching is available from your information specialist. Please don't hesitate to ask for help.